Jack, what are you doing out here with all these donuts? One second. So I'm out training my bad guy. So watch this. As I do my pull-ups. Mm. Mm. Each rep, I get a bite, same thing for push-ups. Getting close. So that way, all the calories I eat, I burn them right away. Are you sure that works? Can I train a bad diet? Let's find out. Oh baby, so today is gonna be a good day. Today I'm taking on the 10,000 calorie challenge with one rule. I cannot include liquids into that calorie count. So I can't just drink Coke, teas, um, chocolate milk, that kind of thing. I probably will include a milkshake later on, but I consider that a little more ice cream than actual uh, liquid calories. So other than that, um, I should probably introduce myself I'm Jack, I'm hungry, and let's eat. So I forgot, with every challenge, I should probably do a weigh-in and proof what day it is, date and time. So as you can see here, it is Friday, November 27th at nine, that'll come up, 9.02. So first things first, we're gonna do a quick weigh-in. And we're at 167.8. Quick physique check, front, side, back. As I previously mentioned, today is the 10,000 calorie challenge. Today is day one of two days. So today I'm gonna to be attempting to eat 10,000 calories and tomorrow I'm gonna to burn 10,000 calories or at least try to. So our first stop, of course, is a cheat day classic. We gotta go with some donuts. And of course we're at none other than Krispy Kreme. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. So some bad news. They only had original glazed. Kind of bummed out about that. I might stop at a Speedway on the way home, see if they have anything else, because I really wanted some chocolate iced. But could be worse. We got our donut. Before we head home, I just got to do a quick taste test. I haven't had a Krispy Kreme donut in a long time. Get a good look at these. Oh my God, all right. So, just a taste though, because I got something planned for later. Oh my gosh. And then you can, look how insane that is. And the icing just like breaks. God damn. It literally just melts in your mouth. It's insane. Today is going to be by far the hardest day of No Nut November for me. The food I'm gonna to eat today, whew, I said only a bite. Self-control, self-control. Time has come. We've got 12 or a dozen glazed Krispy Kreme donuts. And I'm gonna see how long it takes me to eat these. Um, I think Matt Stoney did it in 34 seconds. Yeah, I'm not trying to do that. Without further ado, let's get started. I got six in two minutes. It's not worth it. These are too good. Matt Stoney, you are not human. That is insane. guys so I forgot to show the date and time um, but as you can see it's the same day um, donuts are still here just finished those up um, it is oh, it is still Friday November 27th at 9 so I'm gonna now take her for a walk right here she only wants two things in life walks and food. Maisie, do you want to go for a walk? 
All right, so I'm gonna take her on a walk and I'll catch up with you guys at the next meal. All right, so we're back, meal number two. Um, I also did have, uh, I think, three donuts filming the intro. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those to the total. I believe that takes it to 3,000 calories now. And the next meal comes from five guys, as you can see on the shake, or you can tell by the grease-stained brown paper bag, either way. But got a double stuff Oreo milkshake, a double bacon cheeseburger, and then of course the Cajun fries. Don't get the regular fries, Cajun fries all the way. And let me double check, I think that comes out to 2,460 calories with 70 grams of protein, 238 grams of carbs, and 122 grams of fat. Without further ado, let's get into it. This is how to be hands down my favorite burger. And everyone knows when you go to Five Guys, they give you a cup of fries, and then you just pour probably double the amount that comes in the cup, they just pour it right in the bag. I got a little Cajun fry, which is 530 calories, but they gave me a regular Cajun fry. So let's see. I did actually get a regular Cajun fry when I thought I got a little some ketchup, thank you. Um, so the Cajun, the little Cajun fries were 530 calories, where the regular Cajun fries, they say it's 950. So if I change that in my fitness pal, that brings the meal to 2,880 calories rather than the previous 2,400 whatever. So I'll make note of that. I'll add that to the screen. I never normally get shakes, but these things are good. They're... Again, I forgot to show you guys the time. Damn, I'm bad at this. Hey, give me a break though. It's my first time. I swear I'll get better. It is 1.30. Friday, November 27th still. Maybe by the end of the day, I'll remember to do that before the meal, but hey, we're getting better. All right, that's the shakedown too. So with that meal, Brings our total for the day to 5,880 calories. Two meals down, two more to go. Yep, that's meal number two. I'm gonna take Maisie for another walk. See you guys at the next meal. Second to last meal of the day. We've got dessert after this, but first we've got some pizza from La Rosa's local place. The thing is they cut their pizzas in a very weird way. So you can see that's a slice, but then also, this comes out, that's a slice. I can't really gauge the calories directly off of slice, so I'm actually going to measure them out to make sure my calories are accurate. I measured this out. It's right around 583 grams, 
which I will look up the nutrition info for that, put it on the screen. I believe it's around 17 to 1800 calories. I'll eat this and then my last meal of the day is gonna be a little dessert that we have. So I've got some Ben and Jerry's in the freezer that I'll bring out. But for now, we've got this pizza. I can't believe I forgot again. This is actually ridiculous. I'll crap to the time again, so one sec. So you can see, 7.20, still Friday, November 27th. I swear for dessert, I will show the time before I actually sit down and eat. I promise. I know it doesn't look like pepperoni, it looks like just cheese. So what they do, they actually put the pepperoni underneath the cheese, kind of unique. But I promise, there's pepperoni under there. I was craving some chips, so we got some Cheetos, and then some sour cream and onion ruffles. Let's end of meal three, see you at dessert. Now it's time for the best meal of the day, dessert. So for dessert, I've got three of these giant chocolate chunk cookies, as well as this Ben and Jerry's Netflix and chill. So I'm gonna sit back, watch some TV. I'm gonna eat this and this, and I'll be over 10,000 calories for the day. Ice cream done. Finishing everything, finished the show. It is 9.59 Friday, November 27th still. It is now the morning after the 10,000 calorie challenge. So after the ice cream and cookies I ate, honestly I wasn't feeling too hot. Did not get great sleep. I do not recommend the 10,000 calorie challenge. Purely for entertainment purposes, um, a regular cheat day of mine, I would say would be maybe around six to 7,000 calories. This was definitely more than I wanted or needed, but it is Saturday, November 28th. And this morning, I'm gonna do another weigh-in so we can compare the two weigh-ins. The morning of the cheat day, the morning after, I just saw 175 pounds this morning, so put on about seven to eight pounds. I'll do another weigh-in tomorrow morning after the 10,000 calorie burn challenge, but that'll be in next week's video, so stay tuned for that. Make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe. Next week's video will be the 10,000 calorie burn challenge, what I'm actually filming today. I'm very interested to see how that goes, but I'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in.